Hello everybody, it's Robbie here, and today I'm coming to you with a new Evan Moore review. This is for the Take It To Your Seat Centers for math, grades five and grade six. And I'm doing them both at the same time because my plan is to actually get through both of these this year. And we do Fun School Fridays, and on those days, I wanna include more gamey and more fun things for our Fun School Fridays. And what was happening in previous years is that things like math and language arts would kind of get skipped because I couldn't always come up with fun things for these subjects. It's just that the math games especially take up a lot of space. I have, I don't have a lot of space and I already am kind of a resource hoarder as it is. And so it was just getting to the point where I was running out of room. So I was looking for an option that didn't take up a lot of space that we could still use on Fun School Fridays. So I was introduced to these through the Waldock Way, Jessica at the Waldock Way. If you are interested in any game schooling ideas, check out her channel because she has a very unschool and very game school approach to homeschooling her daughter and the resources that she has in her uh, arsenal are just phenomenal and she's got a lot of videos on her channel about all of these different resources that she uses for school so when i found out about this i got really really excited and so um, Evan Moore did send these two to me in exchange for my review, but I also bought a couple of others on my own in the language arts department, and I'm going to do a separate review on those. So this will be focusing on math. He is about a year ahead in math. Obviously, I wanted to pick some things that were going to be on his level or maybe even a little challenging. I, I will say that I find that these to be pretty on par for grade level. When we get to this, I won't be expecting this to be any kind of review. It'd be a great way, in my opinion, to introduce a new topic and make it fun in the process. And each one of these has 12 levels. So that's only 24 weeks worth of material. And so I wanted to make sure that I had enough material to cover the full year. If we don't get through it all, it's not a big deal because chances are we'll be either in this level, you know, the grade six, um, or close to it by next year. I have already torn these apart. I've already organized them. I've already put them in their folders and I will also show you that as well because the one thing you do need to know about these is that there is prep involved. So there's a trade-off. You can either go to Lakeshore Learning and get you know multiple learning games and resources from them and have them take up a lot of space and have it all done for you, or you can do this and have to do the prep, but it will take up way less space. So that's the trade-off, right? Okay, this is the checklist that comes with the, the book. And so each of these has perforated pages and you just tear them out and then you assemble them based on topics. So these are the 12 topics that are covered and this one is the fifth grade. So this area here is so that you can record how well they did each time they do it. So they give you three different lines here to record. They give you, you can do this, these obviously more than once because they're not consumable. You can reuse the material over and over again. So I figure five stars would be like absolute perfection, no struggles at all whatsoever. I gave him a four star on this one because you know he might have struggled on just a couple of little things. You could do that however you want. And we've only done one. I know we're more than one week into school, but Fridays are also, our fun Fridays are also typically when we do field trips. And we get really, really crappy cold weather in, this, in the winter up here in the upper Midwest. And so we get out outside as much as possible when the weather's nice. So we're taking advantage of that. So we haven't done a whole lot of, uh, you know, at home fun school Fridays. Most of our fun school Fridays have involved field trips or some sort of outing or going to the park or whatever. Here is grade six. Also, you get a table of contents with that little check sheet and it basically divides 
the topics by section. All right, so this is how I chose to organize this. So I've got fifth grade here, and then it goes into sixth grade. So I did label these up here um, because I have two different levels in one bin. I wanted to be able to very quickly flip through and see what I had and what levels they were for. So I put fifth grade math on the top of all of these and then sixth grade on those. So um, anyway, this has been, um, it's worked out really well to have it in this type of organizational system. There's other ways you could organize this. This just works for me. I can grab this bin off the shelf and I have it all together, right? Okay, so I wanna talk about the assembly of this product because there is some prep work that has to be done. So you tear out all the pages, you separate them by topic. Each topic has a different color, so it's color coded. This one is green. This one is this salmon color. This one is purple. This one is blue. Um, and then I've got green and they kind of start over again. So in that sense, they're pretty easy to keep together. If they get mixed up, you can pretty easily get them back into um, their proper categories because they're color coded. And then um, each one needs its own two pocket file folder. Each one needs its own envelope. And then I have chosen to laminate these. Now, if you're just using this with one student, you might find that step to be unnecessary. Um, you know, it's paper though. So I wanted to be able to use this multiple times. I wanted it to be a little more durable. And I know this may sound really weird, but I like to be able to pass on materials to other people in a usable condition. Anyway, that's why I chose to laminate these. The first sheet is one that actually you glue to the folder so that they can see, a student can pick this up and independently see what the subject is, and then it gives instructions on how to play the game or how to um, work the center. Then you have this sheet here, which on the, this is basically just um, a contents sheet for that particular center, but on the back is a worksheet. So I made a few copies of the worksheet so that if we decide that we want to use the worksheet, we can, we can and I'm not destroying the original, um, but that's what that is. And then you're supposed to have an envelope with the contents, the smaller contents go in it. Now this one I haven't actually cut apart. I've just laminated the sheets. Um, so this is the, these are the two mats that the student would then use to complete the center. And then these all need to be cut out. And since we haven't done this one yet, I haven't cut this out. Um, but once you cut all these out, you store them in the envelope, which I would normally label then with number patterns, grade five, so that if it got separated, I would know where it goes. And then they can then follow the instructions to complete the center, which again, the instructions are here. So it's very nice and very self-contained and it's neat and tidy. And yes, I love that. Um, this is the answer key. So once they've completed their center, either you or they can do it themselves if you prefer they self-grade, um, it gives them all the answers here and then they can um, see what they've gotten correct. And then this is the answer key to the worksheet. That is how each of these centers are set up in a nutshell, basically. What I would suggest, if you are interested in seeing this in more depth, is to go to the Evan Moore website and every single one of their books has a sampler that you can view every single page. So you can see exactly what's in each one of these. Alrighty, so that is the Take It To Your Seat centers for math grade five, math grade six. Um, another way you can use these is if you have the teacher file box, which I have a whole video on the Evan Moore teacher file box. I'll leave that below. It's a 
new subscription service that they're offering. It's a hundred dollars for the year and it, you don't have to pick an age. You don't have to, you don't have to set up, you know, an account per student. It's just per family. And you can literally go into any of their books and print out the unit that you want. So if you knew that this might be interesting to you, but you only wanted, you know, a few units here and there, the amount that it would have cost me to get all four of these books, because I have the other two language arts plus these two, I could have got the whole subscription for the teacher file box. So if you think this is something you're going to want, but you're going to want multiple grades, multiple subjects, and you, you might just consider getting the toolbox because literally you could get four books and it actually would be more expensive than if you got the teacher file box subscription. And then you could just print out whatever topic you wanted to print. And you'd have access to the other hundreds of books that they have. And I found that teacher file box extremely, extremely useful and valuable to our homeschool. So if you like this kind of content and you want to know when I post a video, just click that bell. That way you'll get a notification when I do. So, so thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great rest of your day and we'll talk to you soon.